Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Right, so I'm going to be looking at block data. Now what block data does is it allows you to actually change the data of a uh, block holding, a data holding block in real time. So if I click a button, uh, the data in that block will change without you actually having uh, to destroy the item or replace the item or anything like that. Uh, for example, if I open this chest, uh, okay, sorry, the chest is locked. So if I open this chest, you'll see the wool actually uh, rotates. So if I just, um, that's right, I just need to get rid of this block at the bottom because that's now getting a bit, it was funny in the beginning, but annoying. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's locked again. Right, so um, you can see it actually cycles through the different colors. Now, I can do anything with this. I can have words appearing and scrolling and anything like that. I just didn't actually, I was didn't have the time to kind of make something more advanced of this. But basically what is happening is in real time, I'm actually changing um, the data. So if I do quickly, I can actually collect these items if I wanted to, um, because they are being, let me just quickly, here we go. All right, so you can actually collect it because, as I said, it is being updated in real time. Um, another way to actually explain how this works is I'm just going to take this off, okay, so that I can, I can also dump and clear all of this out okay so let me just clear my inventory so what is this it's a I can now clear see the contents over there now this command block will actually clear the contents so if I hit it you'll see it's now empty so all this is it's a block data so it's looking for block data that's offset to on the x-axis and I'm going to put all of the items in in that block I'm going to set to zero so I'm going to remove all items okay so this is fantastic because what we needed to do usually to clear a chest is to break the chest or replace the chest with lava so that the items can burn up and then put a chest back so it was a big nasty yucky thing I mean if you go to my crafting um, custom crafting you would see I had the I had the um, an actual dispenser over there and then I replaced the dispenser with lava with the set block which then destroyed the items and I replaced the dispenser with the items in board. So all of that can now be replaced by two command blocks, a clear command block and a set command block. So let me just really set these two up so you can understand what I'm talking about. So if I now just, you know, put some more of the stuff in here, I just put all of the stuff actually in here, right? If I now clear this, you'll see I now get my magical key. Right. So once again, it's clear. If I hit the key, the thing, it'll actually then put the key back. So this is fantastic. This is brilliant. I mean, what you can do is, I, for example, if if I'm a rogue and I open this chest, I only get a rogue-based item. Okay. If I'm a, uh, a wizard, I get a wizard-based item. So if by using, for example, by using um, a test for command and then activating the relevant block to replace the items in the chest. I mean, this is amazing. The other thing that they've also done is you can actually lock containers. So anything that is a container. So, uh, for example, you can lock, um, okay, I haven't actually tried yet, but you could probably, most probably lock hoppers, you can lock um, dispensers, droppers, anything that can actually contain an item you can now actually lock. Now, if I lock it, you can see I can't open the chest no matter how hard I try it. And if you look at the text, it says check, chest is locked. If I then click unlock, I can then unlock it. Okay. And the commands for that is very, very simple. To lock it, you just need to say change the block data and you want to say lock colon. Now, it's very important, these little, little uh, exclamation marks, true. So this will lock it. Okay. So let me see. So this will lock it. Okay, so you can't open it. And then to unlock it, all you need to do is say lock with no no data. So I suspect this is a bug, and I suspect they will probably change this. So don't, I will make an update video once this is launched, but uh, 1.8 is finally released. Okay, one thing I do want to show you. Uh, earlier on, I, did I have the key now? Earlier on, I showed you this door. And the door only worked uh, with, if, with a, an item. It didn't actually work with a named item. So thank you very much for Zalazim who has actually commented on uh, the video I made on it and he said, uh, for any wondering how to test for a name, now he said here he was too lazy to actually test it to see if it works. Now what he wrote there didn't actually quite work, it needed a little bit of massaging which I did do and uh, it now works. So for example, if I have a tripwire hook, let's just say tripwire hook, if I put that tripwire hook in my inventory, nothing will happen. Okay. However, you'll see this is a tripwire hook. However, it is a named key. 
So let me just, um, the moment I put this key, so you'll see, the moment I put this key in my inventory, okay, the door opens. So if I get rid of, if I get rid of it, the door closes. If I pick it up, it opens. So we can now test for a named item. Okay, so it's just clear, display, colon, name, key. Okay, at the moment it doesn't work for uh, words with spaces in it. Um, but hopefully in time it will. So at the moment the only thing is it needs to be one one, uh, one word. Okay, um, and then I will put the commands and stuff in the description. Cool. Um, there's so much more about this that we can do. And s Oh yes, 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 sorry, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. For example, if I clear... Okay, let's just break this block. Okay, and I put this block, now you'll see the command block, you'll see it's blank. Now if I click, um, if I click this button, it will actually update the command in there, but it didn't do it now. Why did you not do it? Okay, so update that and then say, hello. So that's weird, it's blank. But anyway, it does say hello. Okay, so, and then if I hit this one, it'll say again, 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 and once again, it is blank. That's that's a bug, but that's interesting. That's interesting. So you can actually update. So instead of doing a once again doing a place block, breaking the block, and um, you know you can now actually just do a a block data update. Fantastic, <laughs> guys! I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Then then oh never mind, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you all later. Oh, before I go, remember, you have to be in one Minecraft 1.8 or at least snapshot 14W02B. Catch you later.